G'day guys, Jason here on the Utter Farm. I'm actually on the trial property today. What the video is going to be, I've had various people ask me how many head do I run an acre? So that's pretty hard to answer, depending, it's totally depending on the area and the carrying capacity of property. So what I wanted to do today is just give you guys some information on how much forage various types of livestock can consume in a day. Also, how to work out an AUE, which is an animal unit equivalent. So if you've got a thousand pound cow, for example, and you've got a 1700 pound bull, they're obviously gonna eat different amounts of forage throughout the day. So I will discuss how to bring them back to a animal unit equivalent so you can work out down the track when you go to work stocking rate and carrying capacity, it's on a standardized unit. Like I mentioned, carrying capacity is the most important thing when you're considering purchasing livestock. Because you need to know how much they consume or how much you need to feed them. A carry capacity is estimated by measuring the available energy of forage in a specific grazing system and you divide that by the energy requirements of one standard livestock unit. So one standard livestock unit, whether it be sheep, goat, horse, cattle, all have, obviously all consume different amounts of forage. In this case, I'm purely talking grass fed, I'm not talking grain, just grass fed today. So when it comes to cattle, which the topic's gonna be basically about is, you may say one livestock unit, yep, is one head of cattle. But this isn't the case. Remember you've got small, medium and large framed animals. So in the small framed animals, you've got things like Dexters. You've got the uh, square meter over here in Australia. I'm not sure where else you got them. And then in the medium size, you've got say the Australian Red Pole. You've got the Hereford. You've got the South Pole from the United States. And then when you get the large framed animals, you've got like Simmental, you've got Bazaday, you know, they, they are big animals. Limousins, they are a big framed animal. So you compare what a small framed animal will eat, like a Dexter, won't be anything like a limousin or a Bazaday is gonna consume in a day. So what this video today is gonna be about is AUE, which stands for an animal unit equivalent. So I'm gonna show you guys how to work out animal unit equivalent for your livestock. And that way, when you're talking forage, generally they talk in animal unit a month. It's how much an animal can consume in a month, with or AUM. So before we go any further, let's define a few terminologies and acronyms so we're on the same page. So why was the AUE or the animal unit equivalent developed in the first place? It was developed so that we could standardize the grazing demands amongst different herbivore species. So an animal unit equivalent or an AUE, the acronym, is defi it defines the quantity and the amount of forage demands of different classes of livestock so in its in its relative to that of an au which i will discuss in a minute so which has all been based around the metabolic body weight so an au which the aue or the animal unit equivalent is based on is an animal unit and the animal unit in this case is based around a thousand pound cow or 450 kilos nursing a calf up to four months of age. So there's Min there, she's got a calf and he's four days old. So what's the significance of a calf four months and under you may be asking? Well calves normally start nibbling on grass or hay within several days of being born and start ruminating to some degree when they're about two weeks old. However, their rumen isn't fully developed until 90 days, which is roughly three months of age. Therefore, forage consumption is at a minimum. 
So that little calf in front of us, he's about six months old. Though from four months of age up until weaning, calves would generally gain between 1.5 and two pounds per day. Let's do some quick calculations then. Between four months and six months is roughly 60 days. So on best case scenario, he puts on two pounds a day. So two times 60 is 120. So he would roughly be 250 pounds by the time he hit four months, obviously depending on breed. So if we add the 120 pounds he's gained 60 days up until six months onto the four months 250, 250 and 120 is 300 pounds or 168 kilos. Therefore, at six months of age, he would roughly be 370 pounds or 168 kilos, like I mentioned. So that's where the calf will take their spot on the animal, un animal equivalent chart as 0.4 of an animal unit. And his consumption at this point would roughly be 90 pounds or four kilos of forage per day. Though before we jump into the animal unit chart, let's work out a few animal unit equivalents from some well-known cattle species and types, similar to this drought master we've got here. So if you don't have a set of scales and you don't know what your weight of your cattle are, the easiest thing to do is just punch the type of cattle or species into Google search and it will come up with something similar to what I've got here. So in this instance, it's South Pole. And if you have a look, it says the heifers range between 1,000 pounds to 1,200 pounds. You're better off going the upper limit of 1,200 pounds because you're better off having overestimated the weight and have surplus amount of forage left than underestimate the weight and be overgrazing the paddocks. So in this instance, We'll go to 1,200 pounds. So it's 1,200 divided by 1,000 pounds is 1.2 animal unit equivalent. So in this instance, we're talking about Hereford cattle. So the female here weighs 1,200 pounds. So that's straightforward. It's 1.2 animal units. But if you see the male, the bull here, a fully mature bull here is 1,800 pounds. Most animal unit equivalent tables say that any bull or livestock over that 1500 pound mark you allow 1.5 animal unit equivalent basically what that says is doesn't matter on the weight up and above the 1.5 they still only need to consume the equivalent to 1.5 animal units per day so if you've got a 3000 pound bull or a 1800 pound bull in this instance they'll still only consume the 1.5 animal unit equivalent of grass per day to keep in that optimal condition. So the last species we'll look at before we look at the animal unit equivalent table is the Australian Drought Master. So for a 2200 pound bull, you allow 1.5 animal units and for the 1532 pound heifer, we still only allow 1.5 animal units. So this is what a typical animal unit equivalent chart looks like. If you Google online animal unit equivalent, there's multiple to choose from. I suggest grabbing one that you like and sticking with it. You don't want to be going to and from different charts because there are slight differences in the animal unit sizes and the quantity they eat, but they're all pretty similar. Just stick with one. So at a quick glance, I see mine's missing one. So I haven't got a dry cow in there. A dry cow would sit between that yearling 850 pounds and the standard cow, 1,000 pounds with a calf under four months with the standard one. So a dry cow would sit right between at about 9.5 animal unit equivalent. So let's have a look at a few of these now. So you've got the calves there, then you've got the yearlings, and then you've got that calf between four to six months of age, still nursing on mum at 1.25. A young bull, 1,500 pounds, pretty straightforward. That one converts to 1.5 animal unit equivalent and then you get a mature bull so this one here is 1700 plus i go 1500 plus but that is 1.5 animal unit equivalent so if it was 1500 like i said it'd still be 1.5 and greater and then you got horses so horses is 1.25 these are all mature animals and then you got sheep which is 0.2 of equivalent i people ask me how many sheep can you run per head of cattle I've heard numbers from 10 to 25. Clearly on this, it's 0.2 of an animal unit standard, which is the cow. So according to this, you can run five sheep 
to one standard cow, 1,000 pound cow, nursing a calf at four months. So obviously 0.2 into one goes five. So if you want to get sheep, just remove one of your cows from your herd and then you can substitute with five sheep. Or if you only want sheep, you can work out how many sheep you can get on your size of your pastures from there. But it's all pasture dependent and how much grass you have on your paddock. So I'm only going into today is what each species of animal can eat in a day, a month, and a year. And that's all on that chart. So if you want to have a look, it's, I've set it out in pounds and kilos. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Then you've got goats at 1.7 and white-tailed deer is at 1.7. So I won't spend too much more time on that. It's pretty self-explanatory. The animal unit equivalent is down on the left-hand side, the first column. Then you've got what they eat in a day, which is in pounds, and then kilos, and then a month, and then yearly. So I'm just going to talk about the standard animal unit, which is the 1,000-pound cow nursing a four-month-old calf. Like I mentioned, the animal unit we're talking about is the nursing mother with a under four-month-old calf. So AUD is the acronym or abbreviation for animal unit a day, and they'll consume 26 pounds or 11 kilos of dry forage each day. The animal unit a month, which is AUM acronym or abbreviation, 900 pounds or 355 kilos of dry forage a month, and AUY, which is an acronym or abbreviation for animal unit a year. So they'll consume in a 365-day period 9,490 pounds or 4,270 kilos of dry forage in a year. So that all those animal unit a day, a month, and yearly is to keep them in their optimal condition. So I hope I've helped you guys out. From those charts, it's quite surprising what species of livestock and how much they actually need to eat a day to keep them in peak and optimal performance. We'll take the standard AU, which is what it's all based off, which is a thousand pound cow or 450 kilo nursing up to a four month old. It takes 26 pounds or 12 kilos of pasture or forage a day or fodder to keep it in its optimal peak condition. Remember, it can go through and eat that 12 kilos in a day, but the following day it needs to get another 12, and then another 12, and that's every day for 365 days of the year. And when it's past being overgrazed and they've eaten it down to below that two inch mark where they struggle to get their tongue around the grass, then it becomes an animal welfare issue. The animal soon becomes malnourished. It's not getting the food required to hold condition and then it starts dropping weight and then you either got to feed fodder or grain until such time as the grass has got a chance to recover at a point where the cow can then start grazing and pulling the grass with its tongue. So if your grass isn't producing at a rapid rate or as low to start with, it's it's soon going to be overgrazed. So that's where the stocking rate and carrying capacity comes in handy. So I'm not going to go into that because it's whether you're in a brittle environment or whether you get a load of rain or whether you get a lot of snow or you're in hot and humid conditions or whether you're close to the desert. I can't give you that information. You've got to work that out yourself. So you've got a few numbers there to crunch around and have a look how much forage you've got and then you can work out what livestock is suitable for the area and forage you've got. So on that note, guys, have a great morning, a terrific afternoon, and an awesome evening, guys. Wherever you're watching this from, we'll catch you later.